Good Monday evening, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We continue to see the possibility of some more heat and humidity for the area as we go throughout the course of the next couple of days. Wish we had some cooler weather on the way as fall begins this Thursday, but unfortunately temperatures are going to be nowhere near anything involving the cool days of autumn anytime soon. If you are flying anytime early Monday evening around 5, 6, 7 o'clock, definitely want to check ahead for your destination. Nothing going on at Memphis International Airport. We're getting good conditions out there uh, for right now for travel. The green icon indicates delays of 15 minutes or less and if you are going to be traveling the color codes go upwards like a stoplight because taking a look at the East Coast states, Miami, LaGuardia in New York, JFK in New York, Teterboro, Newark in New Jersey, and Boston, Logan Airport all showing signs of uh, major delays at this point. Some of those still increasing around Teterboro and LaGuardia, and then starting to improve a little bit around JFK and Miami. But if you are traveling this evening, could be some backups or delays. No reason for it outside of just weather. And check out fly.faa.gov for more information about what's going on out there. Almost there, not just not quite. Looking at two days and change until the changeover in seasons. This happens at about 9:21 on Thursday morning. We'll be officially in the autumn season. Summer is almost over with, but. Unfortunately, the temperatures are not going to be over with anytime soon. Today's high temperature was 91, 7 degrees above normal, 5 degrees above normal for a low temperature this morning. Record low today, 46, last set back in 1901, and 98, the record high set back in 2010. So we came very close to a record high within about 7 degrees or so. Losing daylight pretty quickly, 12 hours, 14 minutes today, 12 hours, 12 minutes tomorrow as we continue to work our way toward the equinox, which is coming up again this day as we change over the seasons. For today, no rainfall officially. We're behind for the month by about an inch point one seven, and we are way ahead for the year. Almanac for the month of September, dry but very much on the very filled up side for the year of 2016, 13 plus inches above normal, so doing quite good out there for that. Memphis International Airport, no problems being seen, a little hazy out there toward the 5 o'clock hour. Taking a look at some of the other webcams around the area, Olive Branch, Mississippi, Lori 38654 webcam, showing a lot of sunshine in the front yard and back toward the driveway. Ranger 2015 in Senatobia, Mississippi, picking up some plenty of sunshine out that direction. Rhodes Underground System, 87 degrees of 90 90, winds out of the north at about 6, helping to kind of stir the air around a little bit, but not really doing all that much out there. Union Plaza on the old moon too bad. A few people out and about for heading for dinner and looking at some very nice conditions in evening. Power Center Academy from the Weatherbug Network showing a few clouds out on the horizon, but otherwise looking pretty quiet out there. From former mayor of Olive Branch, Sam Riker's webcam in Olive Branch, Mississippi. A few clouds, but plenty of sunshine at the location around there. And from Tim B's webcam, have Mineral Wells, Tennessee, between Olive Branch and the airport. A few clouds, but otherwise not doing too bad out there. Looking pretty quiet into the rest of Friday evening. Like to see some of those webcams on there? Go to wrg.com slash webcams or wrg.com slash weather for more. Very warm evening. Temperatures through dinner time and just afterwards, wrapping up Monday, heading into the upper 60s to the lower to mid 70s. By tomorrow morning, News Channel 3's Todd Demers on the air with daybreak. Some numbers in the Mid-South, including the metro area, might make their way back into the lower 60s with drier air coming in out of the northeast keeping us relatively cloud free could be some more fog out there but doesn't look like a lot heading toward rush hour mid-morning kids safely in school coffee break time mid to upper 70s to lower 80s across much of the area and then closer to noon time temperatures continue to increase winds will still be out of the northeast that's those moving lines on screen that you see there with temperatures back into the mid to upper 80s or so getting into dismissal time for the kids rush hour home tomorrow temperatures once again above normal in the high 80s to the lower to mid 90s across much of the area some 5 to 10 degrees above normal as we round out the second to last day of summer and then heading toward 10 o'clock tomorrow night temperatures by News Channel 3 at 10, back in the upper 60s to the lower to mid 70s. Your 10-day forecast does hold, again, the possibility 
have some showers and thunderstorms out there, but not until we get into Sunday late, looking at the possibility of more activity coming our way as we get into the end of the weekend. Now, if everything changes, notice that by next Wednesday, not into this week, but next week, if everything holds, we could see some very cool air dropping down out of Canada and heading straight down the Mississippi Valley to us, which means that we could see some very pleasant numbers out there if, again, everything holds. But again, this is 10 days in advance. So we'll be seeing some a lot of changes possible between here and there as the numbers begin to fluctuate a bit. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for updates. First day of fall on Thursday, not going to feel like it whatsoever. Temperature is going to be going back into the lower to mid 90s for highs. So definitely feels like summer is going to be hanging on out there. Got weather pictures to share with me. Send them along at Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter. Catch my forecast with the EAB network. That'll be on the air coming up a little bit later on. And also don't forget about bright and early in the morning with Bob and Josh Monday through Friday mornings on Memphis in the morning and then on Sports Chat Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh. That'll be coming up Monday through Friday mornings on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio. And if you have any questions about anything involving the forecast through Tuesday morning, definitely want to tune in to News Channel 3's Todd Demers. He'll be on the air for News Channel 3 Daybreak. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas, social media ideas for anything else going on out there, your pictures, you can also send them to the email address at the top of your screen. That's austin.onic at wreg.com. And it can, you can contact me on Facebook through the messenger system, but it's really wobbly about how it actually works out there. We'll keep our eyes on the rest of the forecast, and we'll have more details on what's going on with News Channel 3's Tim Simpson tonight at 10. I'm just filling in as Jim Jaggers is hosting Go Jim Go these days. And for tonight, at least, I'll be on for the 6 o'clock. Tim will be on at 10, and we'll have more forecasts for you coming up again throughout the rest of the week online and on air, so stay tuned for more on that. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This is has been the latest edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining us and stay tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online for the latest weather information.